And all right, here we go. High knees. Get those knees up. Get them moving. Run, run, run. Knees up, knees up. We want to get those belly muscles warming up. Picking our knees up nice and high. Good, good, good. You can use your hands to tell where your knees are too. That will help. All right, let's do booty kicks. Kick your butt so that we're warming up our thighs. Kick your booty, kick your booty. <laughs> Good, good, fast feet. All right, now we're gonna do skips in place. When you guys do your skips in place, you can swing your arms or you can just you can just let them be. But I wanna see you really pushing through your bottom foot and picking your knee up. So nice skips in place. Step, hop, step, hop, step, hop. <laughs> yeah, really push through your toes and pick those knees up. Good, good. good. Nice high knees. Good. Okay, we're gonna do frog jumps. Remember, we wanna keep our feet and knees together and our hands are gonna to go to the outside of our feet. I don't wanna see you jumping like you look like a frog, okay? Nice and tight, make sure we're jumping all the way tall. Push through your toes. There we go. Good, good, good. Make sure we're jumping and not just moving our arms, okay? All right, we're gonna do split jumps next. So I want five good split jumps. My split jumps are not great. I've got old lady legs, but I wanna see good split jumps that start and finish in that nice stop sign. So five good split jumps, okay? Make sure we're working on that landing so that we're sticking it. Don't just zip through them, five good ones. Make sure those arms aren't swinging back behind you either. Remember, we wanna keep our arms in front of us the whole time. So they come down and go up. Make sure we're landing with bent knees that was straight legs, okay? Five good ones. Make sure you start with your arms on your ears. I don't want to see you starting with your arms down, okay? Five good ones. Mommy, water. All right, we're going to start with arm circles, but we're going to swim today. So I want to see arm circles swimming forward. Arm circle swim. Good job. And backwards. Keep those arms straight. And now we're going to swing side to side. Side to side swings. Make sure those arms are nice and straight. We don't want our arms flopping when we do this, right? We want control. So your belly muscles should be working right now to swing your body and your shoulders should be loosening up. Okay, so now let's go feet together. Stretch up nice and tall. We're going to stretch and touch our toes. Stretch tall, touch your toes, feet together, Brianna, good job. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Stretch the back of your legs, keep your nose down. <clears throat> All right, stretch up tall. And now we're gonna try and put our hands flat on the floor. So see how my hands are on the floor there? I wanna see you try and touch your hands flat to the floor while keeping your legs nice and straight and hold it. Hold it, Dee, what are you doing, girl? What are you doing? All right, let's sit and straddle. Go ahead and sit on your bottom. Let's see your straddle, we're gonna go one arm over. So I wanna see that arm staying over top of your ear. Don't let it go in front of your face. So the other arm's gonna go straight across the middle. Keep those legs nice and flat. So we should be really stretching out our side and the back of our knee. Keep that arm over. Gigi, make sure your knees are looking up. That one knee's rolled back. There you go. Up and over to the other side, same deal. Make sure that that arm is over your ear and not in front of your face. We want to make sure that our head is covered. Good. Keeping our belly in and that other arm in front of us. And stretch up tall. And now I want you to reach for your toes and try to put your belly on the floor. So this one, we don't get to put our hands on the floor. So Gigi, reach for your ankles. Reach oh. out for your ankles. There you go. And try to reach with your belly for the floor. She made claw marks on my neck. <laughs> All right, now butterfly. I want to see a butterfly. She made claw marks on my neck. Don't hold it. Look. All right, smell your toes. Take us away from her. I didn't do whatever. Rich. Good. All right, let's do ankle rolls. Roll them around. 
When you guys do these ankle rolls, you can push your knee down so it stretches your hip at the same time. So if you put your other hand on your knee and push down, you'll feel it stretching your hip. Good, and switch. Gigi, push your knee down instead of up. <clears throat> there you go. Stretch your hip around. Okay, up on your knees. Cat stretch. When you guys do your cat stretch, I want to see you trying to push your head and your armpits down to the ground. So there should be an arch in the, the upper part of your back so that we're really stretching your shoulders out. I want you to feel it more in your shoulders and less in your lower back. We don't want to arch our lower back as much as our upper. So this is a shoulder stretch. We don't want to be round for this one. Okay, cat stretch. Push your belly to the floor. I want your chin up. I don't want to see you looking forward. So that we're really stretching all those muscles in the front of our body. Good seal stretches. Good. All right, we're gonna do our bridges together. So can you guys lay down on your back or back bend either one, but we're gonna do them together and I want your legs straight for the first one. Are we ready? Ready and push up and hold it. We're gonna hold them together. I wanna see nice straight legs, try and put those knees together. So, and keep those arms nice and straight. I don't want to see your biceps doing this work. I want to see your shoulders pushing really far. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. All right, come on down. Grab your knees and rock. Gigi, what happened? No. <laughs> All right, rock your back out. Rock your back out, rock your back out. Okay, this time we're going to lift a leg. Are you ready? I want both legs straight. Ready? And push up. And give me straight legs and lift and hold. Give me straight legs. And switch, I want your other leg. Brianna, give me straight legs, please. Courtney, what happened? Good, good, good. All right, come on down and rock it. Rock it out, rock it out. Okay, last one. I want you to try and lift an arm and a leg at the same time. So make sure that we're lifting opposite and not the same. Are you ready? And push up. And lift one arm and one leg. See if you can hold it. Oh, that's a tough one. Out of balance. And then you can try the other side. Gigi, what's going on, girl? <laughs> All right, come on down and rock it out. All right, we're going to warm up our jumps first. So we're starting with straight jump, tuck jump, straight jump, tuck jump, and stick. I want five of them. So I'm going to watch. Go ahead and do your five on your own. Make sure that those knees are staying nice and tight together. Brianna, slow down. You're rushing through them. I want to see you. Finish and stay there. And do you feel how far apart your arms are? Get them all the way to your ears for me, please. Five times, straight jump, tuck, tuck jump, stick. Okay. Straight jump, tuck jump, stick. Do you see my timing in mine? <clears throat> I want you to try and have that same rhythm in your jumps so that it goes straight jump, tuck, jump, stick, okay? That's the rhythm that I want out of your straight jump, tuck jump. Five times. Oh, Gigi, get your butt down. Show me a good stop. Sign. When we're done with those, we're gonna do pike jump, straddle jump. So remember, pike jumps are really tough. We want to make sure that our toes are in front of us and our legs are straight. And same with our straddle jump. We want to make sure that, that straddle is happening, happening in front of our body. So if you watch my straddle here, it's not big, but it's in front of my body. So I want to see you doing your straddle jump there, okay? Five times, pike jump, straddle jump. Start with those arms up tall and show me a good finish. Gigi, snap those feet together tight at the end. Brianna, point your toes and make sure we're landing with bent legs. Don't drop your hands down all the way between your legs. I want to see those hands in front. Good Cheyenne, push your stop sign though. I don't want to see you falling out. Five times, pike jump, straddle jump. 
use your stop sign. I don't want to see locked knees. Gigi, wake up. I am. <laughs> You're up there yawning. I'm All right, I think five. Oh. You must be tired, I guess. All right, we're doing full turns next. So when you're ready, I want to see that yeah. nice lunge. Make sure that we're pushing and lifting all the way to the press and finish. Again, this is a timing thing, so I want to see the same time, the same rhythm to your turn as mine. Okay? Go ahead, five of them. We're starting with a flat foot. Make sure that that front leg is not starting straight. It has to start bent in and in a lunge. Brianna, your ribs are popped out. Make sure you have your ribs in your body. Give me a nice straight back. <clears throat> Go ahead. This is a great time to work on these fingers too. I'm seeing a lot of these kind of hands. You know what Lego man hands are like this? I want to see these fingers, okay? This is a great time to practice that. Cheyenne, get your foot on your leg. You've got a dog tail, okay? Remember, we want to glue our foot to our leg. There you go, much better. Make sure we're stepping forward. Brianna, don't wind up. Make sure it starts at the side. Gigi is taking a nap, I think. <laughs> Good. Adela, you've got one arm doing this and the other one doing this. Make sure that they're both sitting right here in front of you. There you go. Thank you. All the way to that press. Cheyenne, don't wind up. Remember, we start facing forward. Don't pull that shoulder back. Done with five? Yeah. Okay, we're moving on to handstands next. So these handstands, one of the things that we should be practicing every day at home is how long we can hold a straight handstand, right? Without walking our hands. I want to see- Mine is like 10 seconds. How long? It's 10 seconds without walking your hands? Yeah. That's pretty good. I want five good ones, five handstands. What? I'm not sure how long I can hold five. Oh, oh. gotta work on these, right? So remember, if we want to be able to hold a straight handstand, our head has to be in. When you pop your head out, that's what makes you have to walk. So you've got to keep your head in. I want you watching where your foot takes off and lands, not watching your hands. Adela, do you see how you're watching your hands? Yeah. I want to see you looking at the floor where your foot was the whole time. Get it in. Yep. You should always be pretending that you're on the beam. Yeah, you got to use your muscles, girl. Good, Courtney. That was a nice one. Is that good? I didn't see it. Show me again. Like just be a part yeah, of that's it, Gigi. Good job. Now stay tight and you won't need to take those steps. When you guys are working on these straight handstands and trying not to walk in them and trying to just hold a straight handstand for as long as you can, you have to shift your weight in your hands and your wrists and your shoulders without walking your hands. That's how we work on this, okay? And then this handstand ends up going into our handstands on beam, our walkovers on beam, our handsprings on beam, our handstands on bars. This, this Didn't I have walkover yesterday? Good. That's a good thing. Yeah. Very good. Now are we doing handstand pirouettes? Nope. We're actually going to do handstand snap downs next. So we're working on, since we can't do a whole lot of big tumbling at home, we've got to really work on that leg speed and our shape and our handsprings, that kind of stuff. So that's what we're going to work on now. So when we do our okay. handstand snap downs, I'm going to show you mine. Like when so I want to see a good handstand that snaps to here. And now when you see where I snap to, I'm snapping to that push-up. I want your shoulders to stay on top of your hands when you do this. So watch mine. Like Head in, you... snap, and hold right there. Do you see that shape? That's where we should be finishing. Look where my shoulders are on top of my hands. How round my back is. My bottom's in. My legs are tight together. Okay, so I want to see. Let's do... Um, let's do five of those. So give me five good handstand snap downs that land in this push-up shape. And I want to see you holding that push-up shape for three seconds before you move on. We don't want to be popping out of it right away. Okay. So it's five. like a hand, um, handstand snap down back handspring, but with a plank. Yep. We're just landing in that plank instead of doing a handspring. So handstand, snap, hold right there. So I just down. Now, do you see how my head is, where I'm looking right now in this push-up shape? Yeah. What, am I, what am I looking at? Down at your feet. I'm looking at my feet, and that's where I want to see your head, because we know that we have these back handsprings that like to do this, right? And it's the same problem that we have in our tucks. We're in our tucks. We want to work on that hollow shape in our chest, so watch your feet land. Brianna, make sure your shoulders are on top of your hands when you snap, okay? Five good ones. Make sure we hold that snap for three seconds. Courtney, did you feel your ponytail flop? Yeah. Because you popped your chin up. You feel it? Keep your chin down, okay? Miss Jen. Yes, ma'am. 
Are we gonna do back handsprings today? Um, I don't think we're gonna do any today, but maybe when we start our May workouts, I have some lesson plans where we will get to do them. So we'll have to prepare for that before we before we do class, okay? I can barely do back walkover. <laughs> We're just working on keeping those muscles strong so that when we get back to the gym, we'll be able to do all this stuff. Adela, try to get your booty down a little bit more in that snap, okay? Cheyenne, do you feel how far back your shoulders are? I want you to move those shoulders for There you go. Yep, just like that, but get your ribs in, okay? I have the hands were really on without walking when you were not looking. Yeah, it's usually when I look that you can't do it, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good, Courtney, just keep your booty a little bit tighter than that, but that was much better with your head, okay? This is a good one for us to practice at home because that snap is the same as what's in our tumbling pass. It's the same out of our round off and out of our handspring and our tuck, all that good I could stuff. probably do a hand, that handspring I'm sure on that my mat. I'm sure that you saw Because I did it on my cousin's mat. Yeah. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do, we're going to need the wall or a couch. Oh, I have a couch. Okay, couch work. Just make sure you have something, okay? Because we're going to need to be able to use it. What are we so, doing? <clears throat> well, we're going to do straddle up handstands, and we're not going to do, we don't necessarily have to do press handstands, but I want you working on straddling up in a handstand. So if you have a couch, the couch is just going to hold your shoulders. So let me, yeah. let me move forward, and then you can watch mine. See how I'm jumping into mine? You can yeah. jump into yours, but, oh. But I want to see you working the straddle up with nice straight legs, okay? Straddle up and back down. And you can't see in that, that angle on my video, but I want just your shoulders to be touching. We don't want our whole body to touch. So push your shoulders. If you're using a couch, that's perfect because you can put just your shoulders on it. So Adela, start with your feet on the floor. I want to see you starting flat on the floor. We're, we're starting in... Up. I'm starting on the floor. Straddle up, straddle out. Straddle up, straddle out. Okay? I want five of those. Five of those. Courtney, that's good. Don't flop over on the couch, though. See what I mean about that? The couch is just going to work holding your shoulders for you. Gigi, straight legs, please. Straddle up, straddle down. We want to make sure that we're not flopping into the wall or the couch. Adela, you can just use the plain wall. You don't have to put anything in it. Five good ones. We're going to have nice tight legs. And you can control those legs, okay? Good, Adela. Point your toes down. And just your shoulders touching that wall. Do it for out. No. Gigi, try not to flop over the couch, okay? Watch. Roll over legs. No, I don't want it. Five good ones. Gigi, work on those legs. This is, even when we're jumping, that's a great time to practice those tight legs because we don't have to worry about the press. Better. Then come together and then straddle back down. There you go. Don't split to step down, straddle and back down. That was better though. Courtney, don't let your feet flip over. <clears throat> Gotta use those belly muscles. Hey, when I come back down. What? I like my straight when I come back down. Yeah, that's good. We just go, yeah, there you go. That was a really good one. Oh, don't fall over. Good. Good job using your shoulders to, to keep your feet in front of you. That was really good. Up and back down. Very good. That's way better. Good job. Those are good. Working on that good shoulder lean, okay? Good job. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do, same deal, you need either the wall or the couch. Do you remember when we would do those handstands where our feet go on the wall and we kind of walk out to a handspring shape? So we kind of make this shape with our body. We're going to hop our feet and snap down to that push-up. So I'll show you mine. Bert. We put our feet on the wall. We're going to walk our hands out away from it, but you can use the couch for this, okay? And then we're just going to hop our feet, push through our toes, toes, and then snap and land in that push-up shape, that same push-up shape that we did for our snap downs, okay? 
So these ones are a little bit tough and your belly muscles are gonna have to work just fine. Enough. Actually, Gigi, you might even be able to use your steps right there. We just want some place where we can put our feet and keep our shoulders on top of our hands, okay? And I want five of those. Let's go. Five of them? Five of them and they snap and hold that plank, okay? Land in that push-up shape. <clears throat> Nice tight legs. Think about this as your back handspring, okay? And if you do the step, it'll be perfect. Good. You can put your feet as high as you want. Wait, should I put my hands on the first step? No, put your hands on the floor. Just use the step to hold your feet. Then you can pick your height. Yeah, and make sure those shoulders are on top of your hands. So we want to push with our toes, toes and snap to a push up. And make sure when you get up there, you walk your hands away from the wall. We don't want to be right next to it, okay? I don't want your back to touch the wall. Adela, use the wall. It, it will be easier if you use the wall. Good, Cheyenne, watch your feet when you come down, okay? Push, push, snap. Brianna, I didn't see you. Can you show me yours? Brianna, can you show me yours? I didn't get to see it. Will you show me one? Bobby, get out of the way. <laughs> Mom, I can move the other way. Good job. Now, do you feel where your shoulders went when you came down? We want to keep those shoulders on top of your hands on your snap, okay? You can try a couple more while we wait for the girls to catch up. Just work on that good snap to your plank, okay? Oh. Adela, land in your plank, please. That oh. snap down is your push-up. You're going to get hit. Get over. Yep, keep your booty in. Five good ones. Brittany, squeeze your legs tight together when you snap down now, okay? But look, you can't sit in front of her. <laughs> Good, Brianna. Don't stick your booty up, though, okay? Brianna. <laughs> Where does my emoji go? I think that they just go away. Here. All right, what do we do next? Oh, we're going to do one arm cart. <gasps> Oh, so, okay, so my first one, I'm going to show you a couple different ones, okay? So watch, these, watch this first. My first one is called a far arm cartwheel. So that means I'm going to start with my favorite leg, but I'm going to reach with my opposite arm. So if my right foot's in front, I'm going to reach with my left arm. So watch this. Let's reach, and you see how my other arm kind of swung through to the other side? And now watch my second one. It's called a near arm one arm cartwheel. So my, you'll see my second one's not as good, but I'm going to use my right foot and my right arm. Right foot, right arm, and it's harder for me to land, okay? So I want you to try five of each of them. So make sure that you have enough room. So you might find that your far arm is the easier one because you have more balance. But yep, work on starting and finishing in a lunge. And this is good prep for our aerials, for our um, aerial walkovers for our fast feet tumbling, but I want to see you trying both sides. So five times, make sure we start in a lunge. I don't want to see straight leg when you start, right? Push into the floor and fast feet. You want to watch them again? We need to see them again. Wow. No. Basically, it's a cartwheel with your same arm, same leg. Yep, I want you to try both though. So let's try one with your your favorite leg with your opposite arm, and then one with your favorite leg and your favorite arm. We're going to do five of each. So go ahead and try them. But Gigi, start with both arms on your ears. Oh, both yeah. arms up, and then you're going to swing it away. Yep, just like that. And you can bring it back up at the end. Adela, start with both arms up, and then you're just going to swing it away. Do you need to watch mine again? You can watch mine if you need to. And swing and bring it back up. Okay? Five each way. Good, Brianna. Try and get your arm nice and straight now when you're upside down. And we want to finish in our lunge. I don't want to see you guys just walking out of them, okay? Gigi, you just got to kick a little bit harder. That was right. Just got to kick. Make sure you do five of oh. both of them. Oh, see, that one's a little tricky, huh? The left is hard. <laughs> yeah. It's harder with your with your good arm, I think. Harder to land. Oh. Tight legs, tight legs. Make sure that we're not bringing our feet together in the air. It's still a part, so we've got to split all the way through it. Good, Adela. Try and use a straight line, though. See your squares there? Make sure you stay in the same, same color squares. Are you singing for it? 
no. <laughs> Make sure we're finishing in our lunge. I don't want to see you landing with two straight legs. Remember we land, Adela, what was that landing? Give me a lunge, girl. Yeah. Good, Cheyenne. Don't pop your chin up in it, okay? Keep your chin in and watch your foot. Doing it with one like line is harder. Yeah, it's just gonna keep you in a straight line, and that way you know that your muscles are tight. Oh, <laughs> keep your legs tight, girl. <laughs> okay, I feel like that's enough for today. <laughs> that's enough for today. We're not done with our lesson, man. We still got more to do. Just a we little have bit. More. Four more minutes. Mm -hmm. That's all right. Okay, so the last thing that I have for you is a fast short cartwheel. So let me see. Oh yeah, I know these things. So oh yeah. Okay, so now we're gonna do the fast short one. So we wanna work on that leg speed, right? So nice fast okay. leg. And you can work on a bigger split, but we're working on keeping it short. So we're working on good leg speed for our aerials, okay? And for Aren't we speed. like trying to put our feet where our hands land? Like, yeah, start. you wanna be that short, but we wanna keep those legs nice and straight the whole time. So the only way I want you to make it short is by pulling your leg in and not by scrunching, okay? Go ahead, I want five of them. Good, that's eight. And then as soon as you're done with those five, you can do your 10 burpees. As soon as you're done with those five cartwheels, do your burpees. Ten of them. Okay. You know what I do? What? I see the color that my hands were on, and I try to land on that color. That's a good idea. Those color squares are perfect for that. Good. Now, don't let your other foot swing in front of your of your first foot. Wait, how many burpees are we supposed to do? Ten, please. Okay. Ten. Yep. Make sure that we're jumping up in between them. Get those arms on your ears. Stretch tall, jump up and up. When you're done with 10 burpees, you have 10 starbursts, okay? Make sure those starbursts go to a candlestick. <laughs> 10 starbursts now, Brianna. Did you do your starbursts? 10 starbursts, Brianna. Did you do them? Yeah. Okay, do those. Hurry, because we're running out of time. Come here. Come here. If you're done with Starburst, you're doing um, dips next. Remember, you can do this one on the couch or a chair. Ten dips where we keep our body nice and tight. Ten of these. Ten dips. Did you do your dips? Perfect. And then 15 gymnastics crunches. Okay. Good try and make sure you're not just dropping your booty though. Okay, use your arms. You're not doing anything. <laughs> Brianna, did you do your gymnastics crunches? You got 15 of them. Now. You're what? On my dips. Okay, get them done. What are you doing? No, not those kind of dips. Look at, watch mine. These ones. Are you watching my video? This one. See what I'm doing? That one. Those yes. are your dips. Like that. Oh. Oh. <laughs> get your feet out there. Make sure your arms are doing the work. I'm sweating. Good. That was my plan. Two more. Gymnastics for 15 of them. The thing that my class for school wasn't really about school. We just were talking to see if. Yeah. It... Just socializing. Yeah, but dis social distancing. Yeah. That's all right. I'm being late for school for this. All right. Well, we're all done. Don't forget to do your splits later.
Oh, wait. I can do this slips right now. All right. Well, I think Courtney's got to go do her school stuff. And we're all the time. You know? I want my thumbs up. You want your thumbs up? All right. Waiting till it comes. Work on your handstands. Do your splits. I'll see you soon. Bye. 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 Um, bye.